U.S. President Donald Trump advanced the time of his press conference from 4 p.m. to 2 p.m. local time in Hanoi, Vietnam. A working lunch between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has been canceled, as has the joint signing ceremony. Let's take a listen on what Trump said. Uh, we are getting him into some of the cities and some of the areas that need him the most, and it's not an easy job. It's very difficult, actually. On North Korea, we just left Chairman Kim. We had a really, uh, I think, a very productive time. We thought, and I thought, and Secretary Pompeo felt that it wasn't a good thing to be signing anything. I'm going to let Mike speak about it. But we literally just left. We spent pretty much all day with uh, Kim Jong-un, who is, uh, he's quite a guy and quite a character. And uh, I think our relationship is very strong. But at this time, we had some options, and at this time, we decided not to do any of the options. And we'll see where that goes. But it was, uh, it was a very interesting two days. And I think, actually, it was a very productive two days. But sometimes you have to walk. The process has been more difficult than you thought. And was the North Korean demand for lifting of some sanctions the real sticking point here, in that you did yeah. not want to do that, and they did? And will it, there it was be a about third, the sanctions. Will there be a third summit, Mr. President? Basically, uh, they wanted the sanctions lifted in their entirety, and we couldn't do that. They were willing to denuke a large portion of the areas that we wanted, but we couldn't give up all of the sanctions for that. So we continue to work, and we'll see. But we had to uh, walk away from that particular suggestion. We had to walk away from that. Will all the sanctions that are currently in existence remain, sir? They're in place. Uh, you know, I was watching, as a lot of you folks over the weeks have said, oh, uh, we've given up. We haven't given up anything. And frankly, I think we'll end up being very good friends with Chairman Kim and with North Korea. And I think they have tremendous potential. I've been telling everybody, they have tremendous potential, unbelievable potential. But uh, we're going to see. But it was about sanctions. I mean, they wanted sanctions lifted, but they weren't willing to do an area that we wanted. They were willing to give us areas, but not the ones we wanted. John? As we, as we know, I mean, there's an incredibly complex set of issues that are at play here in terms of lifting the sanctions and what denuclearization is. Right. Did, did you get any distance toward sort of what Kim's vision of denuclearization yes, is? Yes, we did. Because we there, did. Is, there is, there is a, a lot of... of line of thinking that he wants to keep some nukes. Yeah. I mean, would you allow him to do that? And if you well, can't, I don't, I don't, John, I don't want to comment. Excuse me. I don't want to comment on that exactly. But uh, he has a certain vision. And it's not exactly our vision, but it's a lot closer than it was a year ago. And I think, you know, eventually we'll get there. But for this particular visit, we decided that we had to walk and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. If he wants the sanctions completely off, and you want more on denuclearization. How, how can you bridge that gap between now and the next time you might sit down together? With time, it'll be bridged, I think, at, some, at a certain point. But there is a gap. We have to have sanctions, and he wants to denuke, but he wants to just do areas that are less important than the areas that we want. We know the, we know the country very well, believe it or not. We know every inch of that country. And we have to uh, get what we have to get, because that's, that's a big give.